We're going to stay standing for just a moment because I uh, used to have a cool experience when I was growing up in, uh, in church and, and I was, a, you know, a kid who was in there. And back then, you know, we didn't have South kids and places where they could go. It was like, you're just going to come and sit down. And you're going to be quiet or you're going to get thumped in the ear. And I'm like, oh, man, no, I don't want that. And so we would be in service. And then, you know, periodically there was that moment where pastor would get up. And he'd say, okay, we go a long time sometimes not praying together as families. And it's just we get busy. I mean, it's like no judgment or none of that. It's just that we just get busy. And sometimes we go a long time, you know, weeks, days, whatever, without just praying together as families. So he would say, so what we're going to do today is we're going to stand up and we're going to grab a hand next to you across the aisle. And I still remember those moments. Like that was when the church was the closest when we would do that and I still remember holding the hands of my you know my mom or whatever my grandma or a cousin or something and I'm just like this is cool this is cool so today um, in just a few moments uh, we're gonna do that we're gonna do that just a time where we unite across the room together under the one umbrella of Jesus Christ the one the Bible says who sits at the right hand of God the Father like you want to know what Jesus is doing. You're like, what Jesus is doing now? Like, what, what's Jesus doing? You, maybe you're a little one in here like, what is Jesus doing? Well, this is what Jesus is doing. He's sitting at the right hand of God the Father, God in heaven. And when we pray, he hits like God like this. He's like, hey, Father, right down there, Grayson, he's saying a prayer for his day at school today. Let's listen to him. It says he's interceding for us at the right hand of God. So when you have a prayer for school, for the punk in the hallway who wants to, you know, try to bully people, it's like, no, I want to pray. I'm praying right now for that. For work, for your families. You're wondering what's happening. Well, Jesus is, is at the right hand of God the Father, and he's hearing your prayer. And he's saying, God, Father, let me pray for them. He's still doing that. So as a church, let's unite around that, okay? Across the aisles, across the aisles, let's uh, grab a hand. Grab a hand of those who are near you. We're going to pray as the body of Christ today. You remember the skeleton from last week? That's right. Yeah, some of you are holding some pinkies and some, you know, some thumbs and some ears. That's right. The body of Christ united together today in prayer. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for unity. We thank you that uh, we can go, man, we can go days, weeks, months, years without actually holding the hand of someone else in the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord. And so today, Father, I'm just praying right now that that your Holy Spirit would be over this room. That, that Father, that, uh, that your Son, Jesus, is interceding and hearing this prayer for us. He's praying for us. As we're even singing these worship songs and we're talking and thinking about healing and blessing and favor and all the things that we cannot provide for ourselves, God, we are asking you to do that. Today in worship, we're asking that you would put a healing over relationships we have in marriage and with our children. Father, that you would pray a prayer of protection over us as we go into our workplaces. Father, that you would put protection in our homes, in the four corners of our homes, that we would still believe that there are angels that you send and are protecting us as your people. Father, you don't call us just creation today. For those who call on the name of Jesus, you call us a child and there's such a huge difference of that, God, and we thank you that you call us into that. We thank you that you've invited us into your throne room today, a king who sits on the throne. And because of Jesus, the door is open, and we can come in, and we have access to you. We thank you for that. I pray each person today is having a real live worship experience because of that. 
they're thanking you that we have connection to you through Jesus today. It's why we sing. It's why we worship. It's why we are thankful today. Father, in a few moments, it's why we respond. It's why we have response in our life, that the things that you provided for us and that you've given to us, that, Father, we come and we bring back to you as a portion. Father, you've poured out over our lives, and so we come back and we bring a portion of that back to you, God. Many call that a tithe, God, but, man, Father, I call it generous giving. Generous giving, God. That, Father, we don't hold back from you. Father, we live in a world that holds back. Father, we don't do that. You find favor on those, God. You find special favor on those who, who come to you with great generosity, that come to you with great cheerfulness in their giving. You find favor on those who come to you with great faith in their prayer requests, God, as they bring those forward in just a few moments. You find favor on them. So we thank you for that today. I pray that the hand that we're holding today, God, that, Father, it's filled with love. Father, that the, each child holding a hand right now knows that their mommy, their daddy, their grandpa, their grandma, their friend next to them loves the risen Jesus Christ. We thank you for that. Bless us today, God. Find favor on us today, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You can have a seat uh, where you are just briefly. I want to share with you just a couple of things. Sometimes uh, here we're, you know, man, we're packed. We're packed in here today. So if you have seats next to you, um, it's so cool that we could say this. Uh, just lift your hand up if you have a seat next to you and there's someone sit, st standing in the back. Um, seats up here. There you go. Some seats right there. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Uh, man, we are giving thanks to God. Mark said this at the beginning, man. We're giving thanks to God to us for a special day today. Um, that we're joining the mission of the church, man. Um, we'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Next to you, near you, are cards that are, um, that are not the membership cards. They are say, let's connect at the top. Why do we do this? Because we want to see, we want to be a part of what the next step is for you at the church. And so you can see on these cards, it says, man, what, it's a simple question. It's like, what's next for me? What's next for me? Little ones, man, have you ever played kickball? Anybody play kickball in here? Who likes kickball? That's right. You play kickball, it rolls, they roll it right down the middle. I mean, it's a perfect pitch, and you're like, all right, I'm going to kick it, and then I know where I'm going to go. I'm going to first base. What if you just keep running past first base and you don't know what direction you're going? Everybody yells at you, right? Yeah? We won't yell at you that way. No, we won't yell at you. We'll just put a blue card at your seat. And we'll say, take a look at the card. We want you to keep moving to the next base. That's right. And you can see on here, it's like, man, go to first. Stay for lunch today. Barbecue for lunch today. Awesome. You guys will love it. If you're a new person today, we want you to stay for lunch. Because, listen, we're not going to be that church that doesn't care if you came. We don't want, we're not doing that. No, we, want, we really are happy that you're here. And we want you to meet some other real cool people. I told a first-time family last week, they were looking at this huge lunch we were having. Like, and it was like, man, this is crazy. I said, these people sitting here are people that get it. These people get it because they're staying an extra 45 minutes to an hour. They're not rushing out. They're like, you know what? Let's stay. Let's meet some people. Let's talk to some people. And you could just see the conversations happening over lunch. So if this is your first time, please stay for lunch. If it, it's free for you to do that, of course. If it's your second time, please stay, all of that. Everything on the card here will tell you what kind of what your next step is. Where are you going to serve? Where are you going to be a part, uh, you know, of the church? How about salvation, baptism, um, baby dedication, things like that, man? We do really cool stuff in all of those areas. So in a moment... Our service team members are going to bring our offering baskets, and they bring them up front, and it's an opportunity during the next song for you to do it the way that it was kind of done in the Old Testament, and it's to bring your best gifts, bring your request to the altar of God, and some have wondered, why do we do that? It's kind of awkward. You got to stand up. You got to, we believe you got to take some boldness and some action. We believe, man, we want you to come forward and bring that gift to God in your giving, or bring that prayer request to God in your giving. Some of you are saying, well, I give online. I do that too, all right? I give online too, but I know for me that I still want to come forward, and I want to pray, 
or I still want to spend some moments at the time uh, at, at my seat praying for what I'm giving back to God. So um, I'm going to pray. Two members of our service team are going to come forward, and we're going to sing another song that just should just uh, inspire us to know that God is with us, okay? Let's pray. God, thank you for the tithes and the offerings that are going to be coming forward in just a few moments. People who are, are maybe for the first time giving faithfully, maybe for someone right now who's watching this online today and was unable to come today, maybe they're just saying, you know, today's going to be the first day I trust God. I'm going to trust God in my giving. So God, I lift all of us up today who are just trying to be faithful. Father, I pray for the prayer requests that are coming forward in just a moment. God, thank you for the faith and the boldness of those who will come forward and pray for their lives and their marriages, God, and the people that are in their neighborhoods and their family members. Father, find blessing on them. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.